Okay, Hello. guys. What, Here's bro? the plan, guys. Tell me the plan. So this morning I tried to make a list, and guess what? I didn't have time. Well, okay. It's been a We're crazy so week. Busy. We've been out on tour. No, 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 no. Stop, stop. Let me take this I'm one on excuses. me. No, I'm you're not making it. This is I'm true, sorry. man. I woke up. I drank my coffee. Uh-huh. I did my crossword. I ate my breakfast. Um, what else did I do? Basically, I did enough stuff in the morning that I didn't have time to make a list. I started to do it. I got about two screenshots in, and I yeah. just couldn't do it, man. I had to come here. So... What I propose is that today we basically do a premium style episode, and then on the premium episode we do a list and give each uh, each side a taste of how the other half lives. Mm, I really like this idea because we talked about that people either listen to the premiums or the right. regulars. The battle uh-huh. lines are drawn. People don't listen to both. People yeah. don't listen to and both. People hate the regulars. So if hopefully they're premium. this will bring some people over to premium, and then also bring some of the premium people. Have them downgrade so that they're not exactly. For the, give us no people realize, who realize, yeah, oh, oh, I just like the normal ones, mm-hmm. so I'm not going to listen to the premiums. Anymore. Yeah, and they'll skip this episode as well because the number's yeah. getting a little too high. The number is, it's absurd. Up. Mm-hmm. It's absurd. It's up. It's, it's definitely up. It's up in a ama- over over our lifetime. Way, yeah, way up. Way, over the last I mean, couple of years, not so much up. No, a but little, up. A, but a little bit up. But over that's the past okay. year, down. No spike. No spike. Flatline. No spike. Like well, Patrick, no yeah. spike. I have no spike. <laughs> Doesn't have one. It's plain down there. It's completely plain. I would love to see you with a, a spiked hair. Are you ready yeah. to... Yeah. Are you okay to talk <laughs> about your tragedy? I, w- I mean, I will, I'll just get mad. I don't think it's... Uh, no, we're not going to talk about that. Okay. UPS lost my package. That's it. And yeah. it was expensive as package. It was a Steam package. Deck. It was a real tragedy. Really yeah. rough. So if you want to donate your Steam Deck to Cameron... It's okay. They're sending me a replacement. Knowing my luck, it's also going to get stolen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you think you... Do you consider yourself to be somebody of... of we uh, need to get a P.O. box. I know. I think generally I have pretty good, decent luck. Mm-hmm. I do think over the past two weeks or so, I think there's a curse on me or something. Yeah think that bad things have been happening in you large proportion. You are sneakily the most superstitious person I know. Mm-hmm. And I know Mexican people. What's superstitious people? about <laughs> cursed, cursed being cursed? What's superstitious about being cursed? You yeah. always are, think that you are being either cursed or blessed. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that are, what life is? No, <laughs> See, no, no, no. That's what no. I mean. That's very A good chunk of people don't believe in Don't believe in cursing. What, do you just go blessing? around and go, oh, things there's, are just happening to me there's randomly? There's people who yeah, believe kinda. in just science. Isn't that fucked? They don't even believe that. So somebody like, somebody finds a $20 bill on the ground. They go, oh, thank God that the molecules arranged for me to find this today. Yeah. No, no. I mean, yeah. yeah you say, That's you exactly say, how they person sounds say, oh, awesome my and science? smart. Yeah. No, you know who this is? Steven Pinker. The I <laughs> zoom out and I look. Gr- I look at. Guy. I look at the world through uh, cause and effect. Mm. Cause. So cause. God hates me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause. I've been blessed. My package gets lost. Wait, you are a scientist. That's yeah. much more scientific. That's Christian science. There's nothing wrong with being superstitious. That's Christian though. science, and you're related to that woman. Mm-hmm. Mrs. Mary Baker Eddy. Mary Baker. She should have been a ancestor. baker. My ancestor. I would love to communicate with her and have her kind of go force go force go right over. Super up, you believe in ghosts? Pull up Ouija board. I don't really believe in ghosts that much. Pull up virtual Ouija board. I don't want to do that. And we'll, you're scared. That's because you're, you're afraid. Scared. Yeah. No, it's a member of my family. So <laughs> disrespectful. <laughs> you're, so you're afraid. <laughs> You're so afraid. He it's disrespectful. It's gonna make the well, curse no, What worse. if she says something about like my my great great grandmother or something, and then everybody knows it? Yeah, that's true. It's so, was my great great grandmother a slut? Why well, that's good. <laughs> yes, I don't trust yes. you guys to not ask something like. Pull that. Pull up the virtual Ouija board. We're asking right now if if your great great grandma was a slut. It's so horrible. How's that horrible? That's that's asking horrible. my family, man. You didn't know. Okay. Her. And if you did, Dear, okay, wait, is there any way that we can use dictation ask, software to a, ask a, give Dragon Naturally Speaking that uh, we could use? No, I don't think so. Ask the question, is, is Cameron, naturally Cameron's great-great-grandma? Is Cameron's Cameron great-great-grandma a slut? <laughs> great-great-grandma a slut. Well, I was a, a, a what, slut. Was great, well, oh, yeah. was his great and then follow-up question. Well, would like, that on. be considered a slut now, or is it just because okay, of the time? Okay, let's see. Wait, wait. It's shaking. It's jiggling. The paddle is shaking. You have to hold your mouse on the pointer. Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh, see, oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh my God! <laughs> what do you mean you told? I told it you. This is why yes. I didn't want to do it. I told it's you it would say yes, yes. Dude. Exactly. That's why I don't want to fucking do it. 
How is that an I told you so from you? I told you so. Told, told <laughs> what you are you talking about? She was a slut, man. <laughs> I said it. She was a complete Wait, 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 wait. No, ask, was she a slut wait, by I today's know, standards? I don't even want to know this. I <laughs> really don't want to see this. Ask, ask, was she a slut by today's standards, or was it just a, a timing thing? Uh, was, what, wait, she, it doesn't have an answer for that. We'll we'll see. You can't ask a two part a two part <laughs> question or to a yes question. or no. Yeah, you can spell it out, man. A slut by today's standards. There we go. Was is was Graham Cameron's great great grandma a slut by today's standards? So this is just it, was she showing ankle or was yeah, she showing yeah. it all? Oh oh wait, wait where's you it? have to keep your mouse on it, bro. Oh, it's a, it's oh. A it said no. no. Okay, but so it, she probably it was probably that she married young. Yeah. Oh okay. Well, so, that's not that. Yeah. Or I guess that's what they did back it's not then. Not that scandal. Uh-huh. Or married old. I she guess. married old the devil. Like a real slut. Yeah. Wait, to ask, ask, are, are you the are devil? You the devil? <laughs> okay, uh, now we know if, if it's been lying the whole time mm-hmm. or not. Wait, how? If it's the the devil deceives. Wait, oh, M-, my M-, M? Now what? M? M- what? A-, A? Oh, no. I Ooh. think I know what it's doing. I don't like this answer. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay, it's maybe. It's maybe. Yeah. It's yeah. maybe the devil. Speed up. <laughs> Speed up, devil. Speed up, de- devil. You're very B. slow. Well, maybe the devil. E. E. Now yeah. what? Now what's next? Are you not? Are you not the <laughs> maybe, devil? Not. Maybe not. Yeah. No. Maybe. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa! What's going again? Wait. What the L- maybe L? L? <laughs> wait. Wait. What's wait, what's what's scary as fuck. L A. Maybe. La- laugh. 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 Maybe. Is he gonna say lap late? Lack. Later, maybe later. Oh, oh. Are you That's the devil? Kinda... Maybe later. What does that mean? You're like a baby devil. I think maybe then... this is the All stupidest right. demon we've ever or <laughs> ghost we've ever talked to. Have you guys ever done a Ouija board? Yeah, it's fake. Really? Yeah, it's what? fake. Are you serious, man? Mm-hmm. I remember we did. It was it's uh, fake. You're hearing it here first. My wife had a friend in high school. One time she came over when we were in high school, and we like. Uh, me and my wife conspired to really scare her with a Ouija board. And yeah. she mm-hmm. was like, it, it, and we thought that it would be, she'd be like, oh, I'm getting scared. She immediately started just bawling. Of course. And crying. It's, yeah. It's, it's like if you don't know the, if you don't know the secret <laughs> of it, it's terrifying for it to be yeah. saying something like that. Yeah. It was funny. That you're hanging out with your friends? Mm, yeah. She's probably yeah. crying because she realized her friends betrayed her. Yeah. But then we made it say poop <laughs> and funny stuff. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but that is probably. Are you a demon? P. Oh my God! <laughs> oh! Oh! It must be some demonic name. Oh! Oh! P. Oh! It's, ah! it's poop. It just it's poop. the demon poop. A demon would be named poop. A demon would be named poop. It's disgusting. Speaking of poor poop, taste, Ice Spice is damn up, damn near obsessed with this. Poop. Huh? Have her newest song. So the last three songs have had stuff about poop. Well, I remember. I remember I, you think you the shit. shit you not even the fart. Uh huh. This that next was funny. song, this newest song, has the word diaper in it. So I, well, yeah, she's in the, the shit. I write what you know. She's a big butt. Well, that's a yeah. She probably wears a diaper. She probably does. That's why her butt's so big. A diaper is the bra. Of How the do butt. you get a bubble that big? Was she born with that? Probably. It's probably genetic. Or grown into it, I guess. Some people have a genetically big butt. <laughs> it's kind of gross because of years of of science. I think. Well, again, I mean, we talked about this a couple weeks yeah. ago. You love big butts. I cannot lie. You really, really like them. Wait, that was fire. <laughs> that was fucking gas, dude. <clears throat> so what's going on, man? There's been an, an attack from Iran on... Uh, mm-hmm. On U.S. It soil. It, yeah. <laughs> 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 on sovereign U.S. land. Not much has gone on in the news. Yeah, I feel like no. that was one... When Anytime there's a news story like that, I get freaked out for about three minutes, as freaked out as you can get at the news, uh-huh. and then I completely forget about it, and yeah. I don't think about it even one time. As soon as it stops being uh, something where everybody on Twitter is talking, like every single post I see <laughs> is about something, as right. soon as it, as soon as someone says something about a movie, I don't care about the news yeah. anymore. Ooh, yeah, I Marvel. Oh, yeah. Speaking, of, we were at a bar uh, two nights ago after our show, and uh, they were playing the Eternals. On the TV, which one is that? Uh, that's like the one with uh, is that the DC Kumail. One? No. Oh yes, so one I saw that. Like that was a it. huge flop, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I that's saw so that. I saw the ending him. of it, and fucking Harry Styles is in it as Thanos' brother. Really? Yeah. yeah. That's that's sick. Is, I was why I was looking at it, and then like. I asked the bartender what it was. He's like, oh, it's the Eternals. I was like, this looks like fucking shit. Isn't his character's name Star Fox or something? Something like that. But really? then the bartender showed me a great video, which was called R-Rated Spider-Man. 
And it's a, the scene in Spider Man 2. Where his arms rip off. His arms you rip off. You haven't seen that before? I've never seen it That's before. That's a crazy video. He pulled it up on his phone and just showed <laughs> it to me. That's a funny video to show somebody. Yeah. Wait, I was what like, is the dude, video? this is awesome. You know where he's holding it? You stop in the train. Yeah. It's that, but his arms just rip off and his whole his body goes rip flying. Off. And then blood goes everywhere. He does it with his legs, too. Who and made it? Corridor Digital? Up. Maybe. I don't know. Probably but someone like that. Yeah, they his arms and legs rip off. And I was uh I was trying to close out, but he's just showing me a video on his phone. <laughs> it was actually fucking. It was a good video. I'm glad he showed it to me. I'm gonna keep that one in the in the the archive of my brain. Your fat material. My fat material, bro. Do you think that's fat Toby material? Getting his arms and legs ripped I'm off. I'm a fat to that. Don't you're fat, fat to, to that? Toby Maguire. I'm a fat to that. Dude, you're not no, supposed man, to. I'm not fat gonna high five you for that. I'll fucking. Don't I man. Fucking are you serious? I didn't mean to. <laughs> what are you it's an doing? Accident. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? I'm it's called a I reflex. Purpose. Yeah, man. If someone comes up to me, people could say anything to me mm -hmm. on the street, and if they try to dap me up, you got to do it. I want to look cool. Yeah, I'm gonna try as hard as I can, and I'm gonna be real with you guys. I probably miss thirty to forty percent of all handshakes. You got to look at the elbow. Yeah. Yeah, see, I think if you do that, that is worse than just missing naturally. If you have a system right. to always hit the hand. That, that might worse? be the wackest thing possible. That's not. That's not bad. That is pretty whack. No. Yeah, it is yeah. pretty bad. No, no. If it's you called. To, it's called. Uh, it, it's if you called to, training. If something. If you start. It's called being a. Called being a social you start samurai. Start going for a high no. five, and you think, okay, time to use my. <laughs> I trick. think if you're a white guy and you're like, all right, look at the elbow, look at the elbow. All right, coming in. All right, <laughs> and we got it. That's pretty. I whack. never even considered doing that. Yeah, but they don't life. know that you're doing it. What just fell? No, you do. What are you doing? Oh, you're looking at my elbow. Oh, <laughs> I don't even notice. Not man. doing that. <laughs> what do you mean? What's up, man? Oh, what's up, Daryl? Yo, how's it going, Daryl? I've been watching the office. Oh, okay. Here, let's do a slow motion <laughs> high five. I'm gonna do what you do when you do a high five. That's not what I do. That is what you do. It's and really you, and you easy. hit it every time. Like, yes. Nobody, no. Everybody thinks I'm cool. You wouldn't say that to a sniper. What? Who's looking down the barrel of his sight? Well, but he's not trying to hit your hand. He's, not, he's also he, not he aiming at people's elbow your well, elbow he to could hit your be, hand. He could be aiming for your hand if you have a gun. It in doesn't it. automatically. So you think that a sniper, if you if you're if you're in a hostage situation, mm -hmm. and the, the which I was the snipe, which you have been obviously, mm -hmm. if the sniper has the gun to the hostage's head, you think that the sniper or the the guy does the hostage taker. You the think hostage the has the gun to the sniper's head. Okay, <laughs> I'm getting really confused about the roles that happen in a hostage situation, mm -hmm. but basically. The person has the gun to the hostage Which head. Person? The hostage taker. What do you call the criminal? The criminal. The yeah. criminal has the gun. Let's call him a terrorist. Yeah. The terrorist. Let's say terrorist. I give up on my story. <laughs> so you're saying so you're saying that they would need to aim at the elbow. You're saying the sniper should shoot the, the terrorist. Well, if they aimed at the hand, it would be a funny shot. I will say. What do you mean? If they shot the gun, if somebody People had a all gun, the time in the if movies. somebody had a gun to your head and there was a sniper on a building like a mile away or something, mm -hmm. that's a watch this. And that's a check yeah, this shit out. Yeah. Check this yeah. shit out. He shoots the 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 hand that has the gun. Yeah, the gun goes flying. <laughs> the gun, either the gun goes flying or he shoots. Wait, isn't that what they do? <laughs> no, they no, they always the shoot the they always shoot the guy in the head, which is crazy. If, if you're somebody like wait, in, have you ever seen Sniper with Mark Wahlberg? He blows they, off people, a guy's arm. They shoot he does. Their guns out of people's hands all the time in the movies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I don't think they do that in real life. But why not? It works in a I movie. I bet the gun would blow up, man. The gun would either blow guns up. Guns are not or, bombs. You're confusing would, weapons. Yeah, but then all the bullets in the gun, the the wouldn't it not have some way to, to misfire and get fucked up by being yeah. I mean, shooting? I guess if you fucking hit the trigger. <laughs> shooting the trigger if because, you shot the, because the person you being held you hostage that's what you do if, that's what you do, dude, that's you what you do if you're trigger. trying to assassinate someone who's around a corner you set up a gun pointing and then oh, you shoot and the, then you shoot the gun uh, and it, that's 90 degrees fuck. that's a cool that's smart yeah. idea that's a super hot takes idea takes a that's lot of setup sick. though that's wanted it doesn't take yeah. that much setup all you have to do is that put is a gun pointed at the guy close to him well but then you run a away. Gun, a, gun gun hanging, a gun hanging from fishing people. line. It's a team. Why does it hang in yeah. an alleyway on fishing line? Oh, what's and that? And the guy sees it and he's like, whoa. I better stand okay, in front of this. There's an invisible guy. Well, I, I'm safe to stay here as long as nobody's here to pull the trigger. Oh, wait. There's a little yeah. red circle here. That must be the safety zone. I'll <laughs> yeah. go sit in that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I've been shot. 
Have you guys rewatched <laughs> Wanted ever? No. I've never seen it. You've I never wanted seen to watch Wanted? it. I, it was one of the movies that I wanted to watch really bad when I was in like middle school or oh, high school, yeah. and my parents were like, "Absolutely not." I saw and the I just never, scene. I never got it. Yeah, I saw. Of course, like I saw the keyboard. That's why I wanted. That's to watch Chris the Pratt movie. getting hit. You know that? Really? Yeah. Wow. James McAvoy is smacking sick. Chris Pratt with the keyboard, and then it spells mm-hmm. "fuck you" and yeah. the "u" is the tooth. I it's always so couldn't believe that people said that that scene was stupid. Yeah. I always saw people say this is the reason this movie's stupid. It was so fucking cool. They curve bullets by doing this shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which was myth busted, unfortunately. Yeah, that is unfortunate. I've been watching the the Adam Savage. You yeah, know, you know he's been, he does he, like YouTube videos where he does like question and answers about uh, MythBusters. And no, I didn't know that, questions. but now I do. They're amazing. Uh huh. As a huge MythBusters fan, mm-hmm. they're really really amazing. But I will say that it makes me so fucking sad that Adam and Jamie were not friends in real life. Yeah. It's always crazy when it that eats it, me when, up inside. when there's especially if it's a not even like a like if it's a reality show. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know where it's like two people. Yeah, they're not co stars. Yeah, they're they, not, they exactly. Just, yeah, they were just they're working co-workers. together. Yeah, it's crazy. They and don't they even just, share the stardom. They share the work. It's really really sad. It is really yeah. sad. Yeah, to and, imagine and that, that Grant something Imahara, like that could happen. Grant Imahara. <laughs> Grant Imahara <laughs> passed away. Yeah. What? Did Grant he Imahara? Get, did he get get Looney Tunes rocketed yeah, into the atmosphere? He, they tried to myth bust if he was immortal or not, <laughs> mm. and it was busted. I, I got his death confused with Anton Yelchin's. I thought that they went out the same way. No, they, they went did out the a same bunch time. of uh, virtual buddy stuff with Grant Imahara on oh, MythBusters, yeah. uh-huh. and they, they turned him into George Bush. Yeah, they turned well, him they into were George Bush. To and myth- John Kerry. Don't this forget, is, you this, is John you were, this is why you were confused, Pat, is the MythBusters were actually trying to bust Anton Yelchin's death. Yeah. So yeah. He yeah. couldn't have it, died that way. They ruled yeah. it a suicide. <laughs> <laughs> they said, there's no way. Yeah. It's definitely all fake. He yeah, must have died of crush someone like He must have just died of pure cowardice right before it happened. That is the worst way to fucking die. You put your car in neutral and it backs up over you. I think worst way to die would be because I can think of a lot of worse ways. Well, Probably that's like no, that's the worst way because it's like cancer. Like why? Why weren't you using the parking? Crimes break? of a dark nature. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah, like any kind of darkly done crime. Well, that could have been a darkly done crime. That could have been. It was. Could have we've been gone Russian over mob. this before. Mm. It was not Russian mob. Mm. It was. It was pure negligence. It was pure stupidity. Uh-huh. Listen, it's sad, but. I hate when somebody dies it's, of pure it's negligence. Sad. I mean, it's sad, but come on. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> actors aren't especially known for being all that bright. I would yeah, say that's they're true. usually pretty dumb people. They yeah. read what's on the line, what's on the thing, mm, the right. script. See, they're stupid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that one really affected you, right? Um, that one bummed me out a lot. What's the most? He's good. He was a good actor. Celebrity death you've ever experienced in your life? Chester Bennington. Chester Bennington, sure. Michael Jackson was that affected my uncles who were making jokes about him being a nonce forever. But then when he died, they played all of his music and they're like, you need to learn music history about him. Uh-huh. You need to learn how crazy good he was. He was crazy good. He yeah. was crazy good. But then it was like, you know, what's our official stance on nonce, nonce ship of Michael Jackson? Uh, Do we think he did it or no? I, I kind of try to stay out of that game. I don't yeah. think he did it. I don't really. Yeah, you don't I'm, think he did it? No way. All right. No you, fucking way. Who do you think did it instead? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it was his twin brother. Yeah, it was his evil his twin. Evil twin. Nose Cadge. Yeah. <laughs> it was Jaiko Maxson, <laughs> his evil brother. Yeah. Wait, he has like a million yeah, brothers. Yeah, he has a million yeah. brothers. Yeah. He has uh, his brother, I think it's Jermaine well, or who, somebody. Wait, who in his family has a history of, of uh, doing sexual crimes? Michael Jackson. Well, no. Yeah, Jackson. <laughs> no, Janet. She exposed herself at the Super Bowl. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I think that, that Janet that, okay. Jackson did it and Framed made Michael him. Jackson get surgery to make him look like a girl so people got confused. That uh-huh. video, Justin Timberlake should be in jail for yeah, that. Yeah, it is that. fucking crazy. I think she should be in jail. It's her breast. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? I Justin honestly, I think the, I think that the all the entire NFL should be in prison. Yeah. Mm. For, for allowing Roger that Goodell. to happen. I mean, just everybody who was there. Yeah. Nobody j- jumped in to stop it. I felt like I should have been the, in jail. The, the people in the audience, nobody did anything. Yeah. yeah. That was might have been a f- my first boob. Yeah. Mm. My uncle my Kevin pointed boob. at the screen. The same man who showed me all of the Michael Jackson music videos after he died pointed at the screen during the Super Bowl and screamed, that's a fucking titty right there. And that's the first time I ever heard that word. Titty? Mm-hmm. You had never heard that before? I never heard it. And I was like, what's a titty? And then everyone just kept saying, no, don't say that. Don't say don't that. Don't say titty? Don't say titty. It's don't natural. Titty. It's part of a woman's body. It is. But he mm-hmm. said, that's a fucking titty and pointed. We're demonetized. 
I, I said fucking within the that first was, 15 That was before minutes. they had the, the like, auto-moderation on YouTube. So I remember that was on YouTube mm-hmm. for, like, an hour after. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You could, but that's where I watched the video because I didn't see it live. No, that was 04. YouTube wasn't around. That was Google Video then. Okay, well, I watched it on something on you Google. You watched it on Meta Cafe, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> but I remember watching it and on uh, the computer with my brother after. Mm-hmm. And it was pretty fucking awesome. E-bombs world, lie. maybe. No, E-Bombs World didn't do that much nudity. They had Frank's Quest 3, mm-hmm. which was a Flash game where you played as a little guy, and it was really great because you could play it in front of your parents, but then there was a part where you would walk over and they would have all the, the ladies from the Flintstones with their titties out. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so I would go over there and just... I wouldn't even play the game. I would just sit there next to Just them. watching <laughs> just it. Just look <laughs> at it. Yes. I wouldn't touch my penis. I didn't know why I liked it, but I just yeah. walked over there and I looked at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has there been another... TV or like live TV flashing since then, or is that the only one? Really, it might be oh. the only one on a grand scale. Yeah, I mean, in in what is unless it? you count people being naked in HBO. Yeah, like Game so of Thrones. I think a lot, there was a lot of accidents in Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, they a did lot of accidental. They would they were like filming a dragon or something. They turned the camera and it was two of the characters having sex. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. they'd air they it. Like, oh fuck! Oh, shit. God damn it! Yeah. We forgot to fuck. We didn't mean to fucking put that, that in. We uploaded on Max on like set. that too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do they were, I mean, they're on a deadline. They film yeah, those they the night before to. it comes out. I don't yeah. think I would it's be live. Mm. I don't think I would be able to do any kind of sex scene in a movie. No, I think I watched would. poor things. I was like, Jesus, <laughs> that's a lot. Do they have sex in this? There's a lot of sex in that movie. It's a strongly sexual movie. Yeah, it's a completely sexual movie. Mm. But I, it is very good. I did like it a lot. Yeah, I bet you did. You perv. <laughs> I think the story was good. I think I actually, like the story. Yeah, I think story, what a nah, I was bro. actually, com- baby. I was actually amazed by <laughs> Rami Yusuf's acting. Okay, I don't that's know what I was that thinking is. about the whole time. I was thinking, wow, he's You're actually about the man. He's actually a pretty good. You actor. were watching poor things the whole time. You're thinking about a guy. I was thinking, and wow, how good of a job he's doing. He's doing a great. You would think <laughs> because he's a stand-up comedian, he wouldn't be a good actor, but then he was. But speaking of stand-up comedians and acting, Gerard Carmichael not that good in that movie. Whoa. You know, you do know that he dated Tyler, the creator. No, he didn't date Tyler, the creator. Don't tell this me. This is the, <laughs> the, the fucking two guys. The backrooms. <laughs> <laughs> did you no, know Gerard Carmichael dated Tyler, the creator? But wait, he actually didn't. He wait, actually what do you was mean? just told his feelings for him. His feelings. But then he called him a bitch for it. His a bitch. Wait, who called who Wait, a but bitch? he's a guy. No, no. It was actually. <laughs> Answer my question. Tyler, Answer the, creator, the question, bro. Tyler, the creator said. Shut up, bitch. Wow. Wow. And this was pre Tyler the Creator coming out or post? I don't think he's out. What do you mean? I don't think he's I, think I don't think was... Michael Jackson did it, and I don't think Tyler the Creator's fucking gay. <laughs> what else do I not think? Moon I don't... landing? What's your opinion on that? I won't believe Moon he's gay landing. either until I see it. Moon landing yeah. does feel <laughs> until I see it up close. <laughs> He needs to make a gay. He need, if he makes face. a full gay music video, <laughs> <laughs> I won't believe it till those nuts. Are until those out. nuts are slapping me in the eye. Until he makes a fully gay music video that I accidentally bookmark, I'm not gonna believe that he's gay. It kind of makes me feel crazy about uh, like I I, I feel like uh, it kind of makes me it feel crazy about the 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 like sphere of of media and interest that I occupy that I'm like. The second that Tyler the Creator became gay uh-huh. and started making gay music, I stopped hearing about him forever. Yeah. Oh wow. And Do it's like I know you... he's not unpopular. I just uh, it's yeah. isn't that crazy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You may be the tastemakers in it your might life. Have I know. Been, or maybe feel, homophobic. Yeah. It might have been that that happened once you graduated college. Yeah, that's also yeah, I think a good probably call. Just probably times yeah. Of yeah. aging up. Yeah. Out of out definitely. Of, uh, when people were like, but I feel like I still hear a lot about like. You I'll know, listen to Martians of, versus Goblins every. Oh once yeah, in a we while. listen to that on the plane coming back from Detroit yep, with the game uh-huh. and Little Wayne. That's a cool song. A year ago, I was poor. Somewhat. It's a fucking awesome song. I mm-hmm. miss that kind of rap. Yeah, they don't do that anymore. No, uh-huh. you they know don't who's reminding do... me of this though? Who? Who of this era of me. of the world is you for sure? You're <laughs> definitely. I w- what is it? Is there a word for go- for like people like like uh, rappers and like like characters in movies and stuff that are that act for lack of a better term, slim shady esque? No, no. I think uh, you coined this. Debauched. 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 I've been watching. <laughs> I just finished season one of Fargo, the FX show. Mm-hmm. And Billy Bob Thornton is in it, and he is 
fully a Slim Shady character. That's in great. Yeah. And no, he it's the worst. He oh. sucks. Oh, okay. It's oh. so bad. He's supposed to be like Anton Chigur, but they named him Lorne Malvo. That's their like scary guy oh, like, name. Uh, like, was it, wasn't it John Lee Malvo, the DC sniper? I'm thinking of that it's got to be some kind of Tom Marvolo Riddle type thing. Oh, I just haven't sad. put it yeah, together. That name does Lorne <laughs> Malvo. Malevolent. Mm, uh, malevolent. Malevo- yeah. <laughs> Manovler. Okay. But uh, that is the only way you could justify a name. Lorne, like that. I've, yeah. I've been like racking my brain. I haven't written it down to actually do it, but it has to be some kind of anagram because it's yeah. such a stupid name. But also, he's like, it's it, it's the worst version of Anton Chigurh where he'll, he'll like walk up to like a bunch of kids on the street and be like, hey, kids, do you like candy? And they'll be like, yeah. It'll be like, do you like blood flavored candy? <laughs> and the kids go, no! And like, that happens once every single episode of some <laughs> shit like that. Wow. This town of Fargo is crazy. I never watched that show. Yeah. I don't care. Me neither. The movie. It's pretty good, minus him. You don't uh, like the movie? No, I like the movie. The awesome. Fargo, it's the same thing as the movie. The first Dakota? season is like the same shit as the huh? movie. It's in North Dakota. Oh, it's Minnesota. Minnesota. Minnesota? Oh, okay. Yeah, I also thought it was North Dakota. Yeah. But it what takes goes on in North Dakota. I've never been there and never had any interest. I've been going to South really hear about it either. Yeah. North Dakota, not a lot going on. A lot I, of people uh, a lot of people say that. Well, I guess they have Mount Rushmore, right? Or is that South really? Dakota? I didn't even know that. I it, thought Mount Rushmore was in What's the capital of Honestly, is I it don't Bismarck? know where I thought it was. I have no I North thought that Dakota, was Illinois. I couldn't Bismarck, have even and then South Washington, Dakota's DC. Pierre. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, or Saint Pierre, right? Something You're naming like that. towns again. I'm naming uh, the mm. capitals. Oh, okay. I'm trying. Could to... you do all fifty? I could maybe do all fifty. I don't think you could. Arizona yeah. is Phoenix. You start at a. starting at A. That's smart. Yeah. That's not. I thought would have thought that you would start from one side to the Alabama's other. Alabama's Birmingham. Alaska's Juno. Okay. Wait, this is kind of crazy. I, I actually believe you can do it since you're doing alphabetical. Because yeah. then, like, you have to actually remember all the states and not just yeah. think of the map in your brain. Arkansas yeah, alphabetical is definitely Little makes Rock. It harder. Yeah, Little Rock. He's no. Got, he's gotten all of them wrong. We just don't <laughs> yeah. Know. He was like, yeah, yeah that was like, Little Rock. I feel like I. Uh, like you, like there's some states where it's like that's not your fucking capital. What was it? Did you ever do a? Yeah, that that happens all the time. Yeah, yeah. Like what's? Um, like you'd think Manchester would be like the capital of New Hampshire, and it's like no, it's Concord. Yeah, I wouldn't think I wouldn't about really either think of those. That yeah, that's probably the worst possible <laughs> yeah. example of you'd that. Think of Manchester. <laughs> yeah, you think it'd be <laughs> Manchester. You think it would because it's the biggest city. <laughs> well, that was weird being in Toronto. That Toronto isn't the capital. No, of it's Canada. Ottawa. It's Ottawa. Mm, yeah, yeah, but everything in Toronto kind of looked capitalistic. Yeah. Well, well, I guess that's when you go to the point, point, did I just say that? These, these days. Did I just say that? Oh, yeah. It's yeah. due to the late stage we're in. Oh, yeah. That's like how, yeah, Vermont, too, where it's like, oh, it's not Burlington, it's Montpellier. Mm-hmm. Montpellier. I would say a lot, mm-hmm. of, a lot of states are like that. Mm-hmm. Massachusetts. It should always just be the biggest. Yeah. Oh, no, wait. Is it it, no, it should always be the coolest. Isn't the capital, the capital of Massachusetts is Boston. It is Boston. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. Okay. I thought it was one of now, those. We're the one who follows the rules. Yeah. yeah. I remember. They I remember. Right. I remember being a kid, not even living in Boston, living like you know, twenty minute drive. The from capital Boston. of New York isn't. New York no, City, it's right? Albany. No. It's Albany. Yeah. yeah that's that. that's one of the that's the big one. Yeah. I I remember living in uh you know near Boston as a kid, not even in Boston, and, and learning the state capitals and being like, whoa. Yeah. I live near the capital yeah. of Massachusetts. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that was a big field wow. trip that we went the on. Capital. We went on a field trip to wow. Concord. Wow, look at that building. We got to look at the state house and stuff. And the One Capitol day I'll building. be tried in that building. <laughs> One oh day. my God. One day I'm going to be there for murder, capital <laughs> murder, because yeah. I murdered everyone in the capital. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's why they call it capital murder. They should make being the capital matter a lot more. They I should. Agree. They really should. You I'm should thinking about get, that now. If you live in the capital, you should pay no taxes. There should be, uh-huh. You should get something crazy. <laughs> yeah. Every place should look like du- every capital in the U.S. should look like Dubai. Yes. Yeah. No matter yeah. what state. It should be well, giant fake islands yeah. and huge uh, Burj Khalifa. Gold paved And streets. just yeah. like restaurants from like celebrities that you didn't know had a fucking it, restaurant every, deal. Dude, Toby that, Keats, I love this bar and grill should be in every single capital. It should, it should look like Coruscant. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Fully. Every yeah. single there should capital be a second planet. and yeah. third level to every. Like, yeah. They should have a street and then a street cars. above that uh-huh. where rich people are. God, I'm getting are. pissed off now thinking about how lame it is to be in a capital city. Capital here. Yeah. suck. Who gives a fuck? Capitals fucking Dude, I mean, suck, the Albany man. one is a perfect example. Why the f- Sacramento is the capital of California? Why is it not LA? Los Angeles. Oh, That's and then, and then uh, Oregon is por- or not Portland, it's Where Salem. Is it? Really? And then, yeah. Michigan is not Detroit. No, no. It's, uh, it's, uh, is it Lansing? 
And it's not Lansing. Which one is it? Oh, this one I don't know. Oh, oh, oh heavens, I don't know. Wait, he doesn't know one. Um, is this the thing that you guys had to memorize in school as a state captain? Yeah, yeah, we no. had to. No. Well, I did. I did do no, all. Did the, not have to memorize. I did do so. all the presidents in order. I remember Fifty Nifty United States by Ray Charles. We definitely learned about it. We didn't have to memorize it. Did you have to stuff. sing that at the all school assembly? Sing what? Fifty Nifty United States. I never heard of this. You had to sing a Ray Charles Fifty Nifty United song? States from thirteen original colonies. <laughs> Each individual state will salute that. Uh, we salute them now. I'm gonna look up what Michigan is. What is state. it? It's not Detroit. It's not Hamtramck. No, it is part of Detroit. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. I nope. thought it was. No, it's its own city. That place was awesome. Hamtramck, yeah. Michigan. Shout out Hamtramck. Shout out. Big shout out Hamtramck. Shout out Hamtramck. I got a free Quran from a coffee shop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's Lansing. I was right. It is Damn. Lansing? You're yep. smart as fuck. Yeah. And then, because I thought it was, but then Pat said no, and I fully believed him. Yeah. Well, you were right. So I wanted to double check. What is uh, Minnesota's not? It's St. Paul is the... No, 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 no. This is becoming Patrickpedia once again. <laughs> mm-hmm. this Patrickpedia has Patrick-pedia. just... Patrickpedia. We have just turned on Patrickpedia once okay. again. So I got like four. I got a couple of them. I got you got a, a good of, amount. I got yeah, a good so amount. Yeah, sure. yeah. We'll take four. That was a thing. I'd say you got at least five. That's I mean, you got, you got a good five run right probably, at the beginning. Yeah. Probably, probably as much as anyone wants to listen yeah. to is five. I'm yeah, going to be I honest with you. That was a thing that uh, Bam Margera would brag about all the time in interviews. He's like, knowing ask 50 me, words. No, no, no. <laughs> ask me. He'd say, ask me any capital of any country in the world. Oh, really? And I can say it. Well, that's pretty cool. And he memorized the country all the is world's a lot, capitals. Is a Tim lot on cool. Stern, I think. There's so that. many countries that we don't even know how many countries yeah. there are. Mm. Yeah, because he was doing like Liechtenstein. Yeah, I don't even know what. I thought that was a vampire. Those are ones yeah. that I did have to memorize. Was country capitals in really? school? I had to memorize those. And I remember some of them. I don't remember Liechtenstein. I didn't have to do it. But I remember. The, I remember doing the Africa ones because there's so many. Of oh, that's yeah. so fucking awesome to know, though. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was pretty cool. All the Africa. St- Capitals. I love Africa. Me too, man. We need so to go cool. back. We need wanna, to go back. We need to go back. We need uh, to return home. I want to go there, go there so bad. Yeah. Where Where in Africa do you have an interest in going? Actually, Democratic Everywhere. Republic of Congo. No, if you're okay, if you're doing a whistle stop tour of Africa, mm-hmm. which is a probably do I have to worry about? Do I have to worry two. about danger? No. Fuck no, man. Okay. You have a pass. Not Sean Stevens you have a, style. You have a pass for all What's that mean? tribes Sean Stevens, of Africa. You don't remember he got held hostage that in Africa? That was in South oh, yeah. Africa. I, was did, in South I Africa. forgot about okay. that. I don't care about you, South you're Africa. You're not going to South Africa. I would not go to South Africa. I don't yeah. care about South Africa. Fuck South Africa. I guess I would probably go to Kenya. Mm-hmm. I'd probably go to Egypt. I'd probably go to Morocco. You don't mm-hmm. get to go to nor- no North Africa. And I would love Africa, to go. Only East and West Africa. To Swaziland. What about the middle? <laughs> and the middle. Congo. The Congo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But North Africa, I feel like I don't even consider this Africa. Sure, but I why I would, I would because it's more it's like culturally more like Middle East. Oh, okay. You well, know, it's like, still part of like Africa. Egypt, still Africa. Egypt has a lot more in common with. I mean, e- let's be real. Egypt got pyramids. Yeah. Egypt got sand. Right. Okay. So that's like a combination. Okay. So then, what are your answers? My answer would be. Um. What's the really what's the giant African mega city? Wakanda? <laughs> Not Wakanda. <laughs> what's the giant African mega city? The giant African mega city from YouTube videos. Uh, this I'm not city, gonna answer this you. African mega city is growing faster than any city. What is it? Akon City. Not Akon, Akon, Akon City. The I was giant. Ask. No, no, the giant. Literally, you can't even name one country in Africa. Large African mega city. As what countries you'd visit, you start saying African mega city over and over. Mega city. Mega city. Say, the say, largest. I'm one. not allowed to say Egypt and Morocco. The largest, largest Lagos. one. No, not that one. <laughs> Wait, maybe Lagos. Yeah, the one that has like water and shit. Where is Akon City? That's in the Sudan. I don't know. Is the Sudan a river? No, the Sudan is a river, but Sudan... I don't know why I say the Sudan. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why I said that either. Yeah, me neither. (laughs) Me neither. I thought that that was its formal title. I'm starting to realize I don't know all that much about Africa. I don't know that much about the world. I know know the names of a lot of different countries there, but I don't know what makes them different or cool. I knew Swaziland, except for the ones I said seem interesting to me. They all have different... That one's got a cool name. People. Yeah. Well, and different stuff too. I mean, that's a, it's all you know. There, there's a wide range of biomes. Yeah, that's true. They that's what snow. I tried to cover in my in my trip. You know, sand, jungle. Oh, oh and, yeah, that's smart. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Serengeti. 
Is Africa the biggest? It's the biggest continent, right? Is it bigger than Russia? No, I think Russia's the I have biggest. I have no idea. Russia's so bad at geography. Serengeti sounds too, like man. a dope ass Italian meal. Yeah, you I would, would eat, eat that. I would eat Serengeti with clams in it for sure. Ooh, Serengeti, Serengeti with Serengeti. white sauce. Oh, that sounds awesome. Let me that order some. So put oh. so much red pepper flakes on it yeah. that I have to go to the bathroom. Uh huh. That sounds so. That's what I did good. last night. I made. I made. Uh, I've been making this tan tan ramen, the peanut butter yeah, style you've ramen. Talk to me about this. I've made it five times in the past thirty days, and that really can't be good for you. No, it's uh, it's a gut clearing meal. I. Tr- uh, I put too what? much spice in it, and last <laughs> night I, I let out. Meal. I let out just like, but like balloon around the room fart, oh. and I thought that my girlfriend couldn't hear me, but she was in the other room, and I just heard it again another and like a balloon hitter, <laughs> followed uh-huh. by an oh my god Jesus Christ. Uh-huh. Did she smell it though? And she didn't smell it. I don't think she came into the room until she knew that the smell had dissipated. You know, I've, I had to open a window. I've been not farting that much because I haven't been drinking beer this month very mm. much. I've been drinking when we got on the road, and uh, but I've been sober like eighty percent of the time if you don't count nights. Uh-huh. And so I'm I've been not <laughs> farting. That's wild. <laughs> if you don't count the times where I drink, <laughs> the I have only not been times drinking. when anybody drinks. No, I've actually been not drinking. Yeah, <laughs> but uh. <laughs> you know, it was so awesome when we were in Canada. It was paying for a beer in a, with a coin. You did that shit on purpose, bitch. I wanted to. You did that shit on purpose. Paying for having a five and then two two toonies. That was awesome. You guys up there, you guys respect the coin, which is I why I think you're Canada, a very prosperous Canada country. Canada does it right in a, in a major way. Here's uh-huh. one way they don't do it right. Talk to Everybody them. Everybody in line at every store takes fucking 20 minutes no uh-huh. matter what. It's unbelievable. Bullshit. And it's not even, and you'd think that maybe, oh, it's because they're polite and they exchange pleasantries. No, it's because everyone in Canada is a fucking moron. They're all like they are all very for some nervous. Reason, do not know how their up. credit cards work. Yep. Don't know how to they, open they their them. wallet. They ha- they, it's always something. It's crazy. The seven and we your money's at. big. The money's big. The, I didn't. Well, it's bigger really than a dollar. Money. It's, smaller. it's bigger than a dollar. Is it? Yeah. Oh, a, I thought it was smaller. It's cut a couple inches on it. There's no way that's a couple inches. Well, it's got. It. It's, it's that big. It's, it's that big. <laughs> it's not a piece of paper. Say this is the U.S. dollar. Someone paid. Right? Someone not, gave that's you. That's not the size of the U.S. That's not dollar. The size We're of saying it. it's for scale. <laughs> okay. For so scale. So the U.S. dollar is about this big, right? Uh-huh. Okay. For height wise, doing about nine inches. So let's say like this big. Canadian dollar is a little bit shorter, but it's taller. Whoa! Stop flipping me off, man. <laughs> I think this, the, is how, this is what a Canadian dollar. Is. The way that me. you showed size with your hands and right now is insane. Yeah, how? that was crazy. That was like an alien monkey. Everything was really, really it didn't wrong. Make any mm. sense? It made yeah. sense. It was. It's it like went from this. Say this is the size of this. a dollar. <laughs> then this would be the size of a Canadian dollar. No, it made yeah, sense. It made complete total good. sense. When we were at that Seven Eleven, there was a whole drama <laughs> at the Seven Eleven oh, because yeah. the guy, the so cashier, crazy. was like. Uh, a guy was buying like two cups of coffee or something, yeah. and then the guy was like, "You want to get a cookie?" And he was like, "Oh no, I'm okay. I don't need a cookie." And he said, "No, it's uh, it it it'll make everything else cheaper if you get, if you the cookie, get a cookie. If you get the cookie, it will be cheaper than if you don't if you, get the yeah. cookie." Yeah, and the guy was like, was "Oh, like, okay." What? Yeah. No, the guy and was like, "Wait, what? What do you mean?" And the guy's like, "Right now, you're paying eight dollars. If you get a cookie, it will be seven dollars." And then he's like, "Oh, okay." And they have a huge uh, they have a was huge a basket. Deal? Right. I don't know of course what it was. was a deal. They have a huge basket right next to the cash register that had all these packs of cookies. And so the guy's packs like, of, yeah, three, three cookies. cookies. And, and so and the guy pack. grabs one. He's like, oh, yeah, okay, sure. Yeah, I'll take the cookie. And he says, uh, oh, no, 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 no. No, it's That's even it's even crazy. Cookies. <laughs> he pays like, oh, sure, yeah, I'll take the cookie. He, he pays. And then the cashier's like, oh, don't forget your cookie. And then the guy's about to leave. He already paid. And he goes to grab the pack of cookies. And the cashier says, no, you can't take that. That's three cookies. <laughs> <laughs> you paid for one cookie. Yeah, and there was there's no, no one, there's one, no one cookie, cookie anywhere. <laughs> it must have been a scam. Yeah. Now the guy was it. definitely pocketing the money. But yeah. it was just crazy. The It was the, so funny. The, they they set up but, the bait and, cookies. See, at and the then front. my my clever American mind learned yes. from this ahead of me. The guy said, Do you want a cookie? I said yes, and I didn't even try to take one. I just yep. got cheaper. Mm. That's right. Cheaper. That's uh, right. I went to Dollarama. We didn't there. need that cookie. Huh? There's a, there's a, yeah. it's so crazy. It's here, it would be called the Dollar Tree. Well, every, mm-hmm. I was talking to my wife about e- everything Dollarama. there. Yeah. This is an, not true. This is not uh, to my point, but everything in Canada is not named 
Like I feel like in in uh, New York, especially if you go to like a deli, it's called deli, mm-hmm. and like places are just called restaurant sometimes yeah. or like hardware store. And in Canada, everything is not named like what it is. Mm-hmm. They're all named Lenny's or Lib 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 Gim Gum Gim Gum Gim Gum. Yeah, yeah. That's why that's Canadian. Which was a different thing because they expect you to walk into the store and say, "What's this?" Yeah, yeah. Because they like talking to people. Exactly. They like which we don't like doing here. Yeah. No, I want to buy my shit and leave. It yeah. was. It was. I did definitely, like it though. I'm gonna be honest. I liked yeah. it. I loved it. it. Was I was obsessed awesome. with it. I love Canada. I like politeness. It reminded me of the South in, yeah. a, in a good way. It reminded me. People Toronto nice. felt like if you mashed up two cities. If this is the girl talk country, where you take two. Countries, That's where you take belong, two man. Cities, you take two cities and you mash them up together. Oh, yeah. Toronto it's was Chicago, Seattle, UK. yeah, Seattle and Boston. For my mind, speaking mm. of um, girl talk and Patrick's music career, mm. I he's he's going to be suffering a fatal blow today. Caleb's taking his piano back. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. Wow, it had to happen someday. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So are you gonna buy one? I might get a little USB. You should, one. man. You can get a really cheap one. Yeah. One with and an I SSC would, I would have given you a heads up so that you wouldn't have any kind of gaps in between because I know that this music stuff is like you know the inspiration comes mm-hmm. and goes really fast. But I know you that saw if I me, did that, you would have never ordered one. You saw me taking. What happens is tell we me what will be happens. rehearsing for the shows, and then I get I. <laughs> I get. I guess the word is bored. Mm-hmm. And you get bored of doing. I get bored of doing. About what an hour. Fi- doing. I would say honestly, fi- an hour and a half is very generous. I would say five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes, and then time. I walk True, over yeah. and Genuinely. I have to. I have to touch something. I yeah. have to be doing something, or else I can't think. Right. Yeah, and then you think and about. And you think, well, I have to also be get, listening to something yeah. that makes me so I can't hear anything <laughs> and that's then happening. I get in distracted, and completely. hold on, I also have to look at something. Uh huh. I get completely distracted and I I just wander off and I do my own thing, yeah. Which is a which is something I do while we're out in cities too. Yes, that is true. That is a really scary thing. If anybody's ever gone on tour with Patrick, what <laughs> happens is you're wa- you'll be walking through a city and then he will completely disappear and then he will somehow teleport five blocks ahead of you mm-hmm. and be doing something else. And what I happened, keep getting we, scared we, that you're going to start wearing disguises and you're going to be like a homeless guy. And I'll like, I should start, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> like that kind of shit. Like, we were, I think you you know what you're doing. Well, you know that you're being you pointed it. You pointed it out. Ever since I started pointed it out, I should have never pointed it out. I should have never fucking pointed it out. Once you pointed it out, now I you just started disappear. doing it. Yeah, what did I, we, you guys were in the Newbury Comics on yeah, Newbury and I, Street. And he always has his location and on this one. And chat. I want to I stress, though, this one that you're describing right now, this was before it was pointed out as a funny thing that this yes. happened. So this is fully of your own accord. And now go. And now tell it. We were in. We were on Newbury Street in Boston. And uh, Patrick always has his location on, and he he had been gone. We were in there probably 20 minutes, didn't see him once. And we walk out, and we're like, where the fuck is Patrick? We expect him to be on the street. We check his location. He's in a Brandy Melville <laughs> I wasn't in about it. five blocks away. <laughs> I wasn't in the Brandy it Melville, you were but I was in, in the front front you, were in on the, you were in the A on I Brandy. Saw, you know what it was? I saw Joe coming up the block, so I just waited right there. And <laughs> see, you because d- you, you think that it's funny to be scaring and surprising, and it's really just not. It's upsetting. Because mm. we. why do we hang out? Why do we even bring you on tour? It's not because you're funny. We want to spend time with you. <laughs> We want to hang out with you, okay? And you're robbing us of that time by going and dis- going to Brandy Melville and smelling ha- all the underwear. Have you guys have you guys ever even tried to just follow me on my path? We follow you everywhere because every every time we walk on the sidewalk, you're 45 feet ahead That's of true, us, yeah. taking random turns, taking random turns, and we're like, "Where are we going?" And you're like, "I don't know." Well, that's called adventure. <laughs> That's called the ginger, buddy. I just don't. I, 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 I need you to stop being scary. It's if not you want to start doing it is scary because I'm paranoid looking for you every. And also, by the way, everybody in the world looks just like you. It is crazy. My how everybody many walks look around exactly with like a jacket that. and a fucking hat and a mustache. I think my neighbor, I see you. Whenever you disappear, I always think I see you a million my, times. My, I think I, I see him met every my day yesterday. even here. Yeah. Yeah. I finally meet my neighbor, uh-huh. and she's sitting on the stoop, and she's eating a sandwich, and she says, oh, I thought I saw you yesterday, and I waved, and you didn't wave back, and I was like, I had to explain to her, yeah, there's a lot of people that look like me. <laughs> it's a crazy thing. It's uh, a strange phenomenon. Almost yeah. every single person looks like you. Yeah. Every guy looks a lot like you. I also had to explain to she, I've been, when I leave the house, I don't shut the door 
completely. It was a problem for a little bit. My door is heavy, but not heavy enough to close completely. So, like, you know, like, when you have, like, a heavy door and it's, like, going to, like... Sure, it shuts automatically. It shuts automatically. For some reason, my door has not been shutting my front door, and Mo has figured out how to open it, and he likes uh-huh. to explore around the building. Okay. So she was telling me that she's been hanging out with him when that happens. Oh, that's cute. And uh, she was like, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, sometimes I'm really busy and I need to go. And she's like, where have you been? Too busy to close the door. Where have you been going? She was like, where have you been going? And I was like, oh... Uh, down the street. Down the street to <laughs> down go. Down the street to variety. get a sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> or to go touch a keyboard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going up the block. I'm not going recreating anywhere. still Dre. <laughs> Why? What do, has has Mo ever gotten out and done the thing that cats do, where they go out for like a full day by themselves? No, and come no. Back? He's too afraid of the outside. That's a that's good because I don't yeah. I don't like that. that See, that's what scares me about a cat door, is that they want to leave all the if time. If he sees the door, yeah. oh, the front door open, he runs back in the apartment. Uh huh. So that's good. He never jumps off the like back porch. No, no, no. We don't. Well, there was that one time where I had the like the housewarming party, and he almost got onto the roof because we were all going up on my roof. Would that have been such a problem? Yeah, he would have jumped off, man. He would have jumped <laughs> he off. He would have fucking jumped off. kill himself. He would have killed himself. He's a the party's fucking, too he's, loud. I'm going to fucking kill myself. Smart. He's me, not smart. That's me. smart cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't be allowed on roofs at parties roof. either. He fucking kill myself, just kind of drifting away. I just remember the door was wide open, and then I like went, I was, because I was going up to the roof to hang out with Eric, and then I saw Mo just in the doorway just looking at me like, mm. like you fucker, you little and bastard. you know that damn look. I had to get him. I had to get him downstairs. Do you think that I could have a cat with, and a dog? No, Phil would eat it. But I think that dogs can be trained. I've never yeah. tried it, but I think that they can be trained. I feel like Phil would immediately... I mean, you'd have to... I don't know how you can introduce dogs and cats together. I know introducing cats, you have to like put them in a separate room, but then have something that smells like them in the same room. They have to have something that smells like each other in the same room, and you have to wait three days until they finally start like getting curious about each other. This is how men are. Yeah. Men are the <laughs> yeah. same way. Yeah, I guess it's the same. Yeah. Every man that I've ever become similar. friends with, I did not like at first. And then right. I understood their smell. Right. A little you have more. to gradually yeah. get acclimated. Yeah. That's true. I think um uh I do I do think that Phil would pro oh Steve told me the most disgusting thing that I learned that I have to do with my fucking oh, dog. Oh yeah, you don't know about this. I didn't know that you have to express their anal gland. I would uh-huh. I'm not I would have not gotten a dog if I knew that this was something I had to you do. You can pay someone to do it. That's but, all the pet stores around here if you look on their sign it says like $20 anal. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it means. Okay. How'd you find that out? Huh? How'd you find that out? You, you walked, walked in. You saw the sign. I know what I know about <laughs> expressing like, like, dog's anal gland. <laughs> yeah. Cameron Little walked in. Cameron guy. walked <laughs> in. He's, he walked Gee, in. I just saw your sign. Twenty dollars <laughs> anal. In the in the lobby, just on all fours. Wow. Tell me you guys aren't. I don't have a twenty. Will you take a fifty? <laughs> You'll have a pet. I have a pet, bro. What? My mom has a dog. We ain't never expressed those anal glands, though. That's not Moms, your pet. Moms, pets don't. Count. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Interesting though that from that pet I learned more about taking care of a dog than it seems you did from owning a dog. That's kind well, of awkward. You don't own well, you don't own a dog. Yep. Though. Didn't know about dogs' ass. He didn't know about dogs' ass. About dogs That's ass. Learned my, about it a week ago. Yeah. So, because that you you know why you know why because learning is a part of pet ownership. I would mm-hmm. say it's less about learning and more about just being good at it and doing it right. Owner, <laughs> owner, <laughs> steward. You are a steward. I'm not a steward. I don't. You the dog's not here. You're a former I'm steward. I'm fully outside of the you dog's life. You wear a little life. hat and you got little white gloves and yep. you, you give the they dog. You got to wear gloves steward. to express the anal you glands. Give the dog you do with your bare hands. You give the yeah, dog you do with your bare snacks. hands. <laughs> You're asking the dog if they want a, a jet blue teeny. And they say, oh, I'll take a bone. Yeah, oh, I'll just I'll have, have the. I'll just have water. Imagine you're walking down the aisle on the fucking dog plane. Mm. And you're in the back, mm. and all they have is bones and chocolate, and they're all out of bones. Yeah, why would they, why would they have chocolate? The dogs are for the owners. themselves on the for the plane. owners, but it's a fully dog flight. Yeah, right. That's what I was saying when you said the dog plane. I wouldn't wasn't that would <laughs> be, that would be the worst flight in the world. A full dog flight. Yeah, I've been getting a lot of babies on my fucking flights. I always sit them right next to me, man. I always mm, get yeah. the baby and the wing, man. I've talked about that damn wing before. Fuck that wing. You always you always jump for the middle seat. Or the plane, the window seat, and then you fly the whole plane with the window closed. 
That's yeah, because... Yeah, it's disrespectful. How's that disrespectful? You have no sense Trust. of advantage. No, you is, use the is, wall as a sleeping it's device. It's understandable, but you have to open the window at least for takeoff and landing. Mm. Why? Because look. That's, that's what the window seat is, that's man. What the whole, that's what the experience of the flight is you about. You can buy a neck pillow if you yeah. don't. Yeah. I don't want to spend money on a neck pillow. You already have a neck pillow, I lost which is it. why you sit in the middle. Well, then you get the window next time. I lost it. I lost my neck pillow in Chicago. And also, he doesn't like when I fall asleep on his shoulder. I don't like it. So I have no options. You have an option. You don't have <laughs> If enough. you sleep in the middle, you get two shoulders. No, but I can't use yours. And I can't use yours because yours looks pointy. Probably pointy. Probably you pointy. You like mine because it's got that weird slope. Shut up about your shoulder slope. Stop It's no real shoulder slope. Have we talked about shoulder. this before? I don't know, man. But <laughs> Patrick was in the gym and was Patrick telling was convinced us, like, he looks yeah, like the hunchback of Notre Dame. You, no, you, you pointed it out. You pointed it out, and then no, it made me self-conscious. No, that's not then, true. No, you were like, oh, my God, I really have a slope. And and then you started walking around with one shoulder <laughs> on, uh, like a foot above the man. other one. And like, yeah, see, look, I have a slope. And I was like, you're doing that on purpose. No, no. It's because of it's <laughs> I mean, because I have that that my sternum bone protrudes in a way. That is crazy. My that sternum it bone. It feels like you're you're one percent through a Mortal Kombat fatality where they're taking out yeah. your rib cage. My yeah. it like makes my rib cage like taller this. for some reason. My rib cage is like all the way up there. It yeah. slants up. Well, you also have a ge- your ribs go like down to your like you're yeah. all ribs. I'm all torso. It's crazy. I looked at my my legs are so small. I have twenty. I have a twenty nine inch inseam. That's that's nothing to be ashamed of. That's like small. That's, that's crazy small. To be it's not even of. an even number. It's uh, not even a thirty. Sometimes a thirty is too long for my legs. Really? It's fucked up. Yeah. That is some little. Like, in car really hearts, little. in car hearts, my legs are. I have to cuff them twice. I have to go get them hemmed. To get. To go from a thirty to a. A twenty nine. Do you think you ever go to there. the? Do you think you ever go to the to get him hemmed at the clothing store and they think that maybe that's for an amputee or something? Maybe. Well, no. The lady, the lady at the the I go to the one on Fresh Pond right near. Uh-huh. That's like got the, uh, it's like the newsstand, but also the dry cleaner. I love this damn city. That lady <laughs> thinks that I'm a different person. Um, she thinks that you're a different person. She that thinks mean? that I'm somebody else because every time what? I go in there, she asks me how my job is. What do you say? I just fully have just been like, oh yeah, no, work's been good. You I don't just think tell maybe her maybe this is what we call small talk, right? She, no, 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 because she's asking me specific things about like, like she's what? like, oh, what I thought, she think I you thought, thought that work? you worked today. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I thought she, you never, were, she said I thought you worked today. Yeah, she said. That's funny. She <laughs> says like, oh, I you're thought you were working someone today. Else's life. Yeah, yeah, wait, yeah. So she knows so this, this, this person's woman, work schedule. Yeah, yeah she, knows she knows this guy. She knows this guy well enough, but she thinks I'm somebody else. And she says like, oh, I thought you were working today. Do you have the day off? And I was like, I just say, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not working today. Somebody. Yeah, fully. Everyone looks like you. I know. <laughs> so I just like, yeah, so I'll go in there. I'll get my pants like fixed up. And then she'll ask me like, oh, how was work yesterday? <laughs> She's like, oh, oh, you're not working today. Oh, long weekend, huh? Whoa, <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude. It's good. That funny. That's amazing. You get to live a double life. I do. You should be asking about her about her, her work. You, you need to, sp- you need to embrace say, this you get a lot idea. Of, you get a lot you of need to, today. You need to try to take a step across. You need to be across, spending yeah. every day. You need to be spending like eight hours as this you should, guy. You need, yeah. to, yeah. you need to. Here's what you need to say. You need to go in there. Next time she she asks you how your work was or whatever, you say, guess who I saw yesterday. Mm-hmm. And you keep. And once she guesses, you say, you say, yes. Yes. Yeah. How'd you get it? How did you get it? You know me so well. How did you know? That's so crazy. Guess who I saw yesterday is a really good a really good next step in your impersonation journey. Journey. Just saying, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yep, oh, you're yeah. Right. Yep, yeah. You're right. And guess who I had lunch with? He's up to the oh same. Oh, my God. Two for two. <laughs> He's up to the same shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, what's he going hasn't on? changed the same a bit. Stuff. No, he He's hasn't still, changed yeah. at all. <laughs> he hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> no, no, no. He hasn't changed. <laughs> he hasn't changed yeah. from last week. <laughs> yep. He's completely different. You need to her start asking about her life. <laughs> I, I I ask her about work. You I, should confuse her for somebody. This could be the beginning. This could be a romance movie. This could be a romance. She is, How old she, is she? is my friend now. She's oh. got to be like 40 something. She's like early mm. 40s, something like that. Mm. Early. She asks me about early uh, 40s. I was wearing that hat that has the 50th thing, and she's like, You're not 50. <laughs> what did you say? Uh-huh. Night? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Einstein, you dumb <laughs> bitch. 
no, no, I'm not. I just liked the hat. She was like, ah, I have clothing like that. <laughs> I have clothing <laughs> I like. <laughs> yeah, I also have clothing. She that sounds I like. incredible. She yeah. sounds she's so friendly. She's awesome. She, she sounds actually like is awesome. You if you do need your pants hemmed or your jacket dry cleaned, you should go to her on Fresh Pond in, uh, I think it's Catalpa. I don't know, but she's the best. Someone's going to steal your girl, man. They better not. They better Someone's going to so go in and show a picture of you in, and say, If you go and, in there looking like me, you better not steal my fucking life. <laughs> they fully could. Someone could. It's like face off, but only for jackets. I'm getting somebody else's jackets. You, there's That'd be so funny many... to do a sequel to face off and it's just they switch jackets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Like that's some mixed up. <laughs> Close off. Close off. Yeah, it just keeps happening at the same dry cleaner. <laughs> Enough guys look so much like you that I could certainly be... F- I would say within 15 feet, I can tell it to you. Outside of 15 feet, it's I, troublesome yeah, sometimes. I really don't know. But also, you have a kind of a uh, way of walking like a monkey that I can yeah, identify. I have a weird gait. If someone's standing still, though, I got to be pretty close to recognize mm. them as, as not you. Me and Alex were laughing so hard because at the Airbnb that we the airbnb hotel thing that we stayed at in toronto oh you uh, could see into the shoppers oh yeah <laughs> we well just shop. multiple times it happened to both me and alex where we just we were just like we're sitting in the living room and just looked out the window and pat was just outside <laughs> walking, walking into the into the grocery store. Or out of the grocery store we we're like oh i didn't even know he was not here why did you keep going into the grocery store i why are you so weird i okay well, he must have gone to the grocery store like five so times and one day. i don't know i just i I realized I do this a lot. Um, we were there for it. We were if there I have nothing day. to do, and he went and got like ten bags of chips. If I have nothing to do, I will just go to the grocery store. I I have See, a okay. I have it like I have I a full understand. NPC walk cycle. I go. I leave my house. I don't know what to do. I go to the grocery store. I'll walk around. I'll just like I fully walk around the grocery store, and if I see something new, I will buy it. But. You do I, I an do interesting this, thing because I do it before shows too. When, I was I was waiting to do a show and I was hanging out with my friend and like we were like walking somewhere. We were like too early to go to the venue and I fully was just like, oh, I'm gonna pop in here real quick and I just went in the grocery store. In the grocery store? <laughs> Did almost, you buy anything? Yeah, I bought like beef jerky and like soda and like shit like that. And then I like I was like, okay, this grocery store was far enough away that when we get back to the venue, it will be time to go in. Mm. Which, like, why the fuck did I go to the grocery store? I got there's a bodega next to Most the Most people when they're bored will look at their phone or read or talk yeah. to their or friends. watch TV no. or talk to their friends that they're in a, no. in a hotel room. No, go to the yeah. grocery store. And you go to the grocery store five times in 10 hours. Uh-huh. And I get like, a, I'm like, oh, well, I it's drank soda so earlier, so out. I need to counteract that with water. It's so funny to look out the window and see somebody that you thought was in the room with yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and just so clearly them too. Yeah. Like yeah. just uh, like again, your your walk, your gait is so iconic that I th- at the corner yeah. of my eye we're seeing you and knowing it's you walking. Yeah. The store. Th- yeah. Just funny, man. It is really, really funny. You could man. see me in the store from there too. <laughs> like the yeah, that was what I when the windows. first time when I woke up and I like got up and and I like w- I was waking up and I went and looked out the window and I saw a pet like through like through our window and then also through the shop the shoppers or whatever it's uh-huh. called window buying masala like, like, chips. Yeah, walking yeah. through the store. <laughs> you know what it was is right. I know exactly where you were looking too because like right there was like they had a big thing of um like colognes and I was like oh maybe. Maybe I'll buy some cologne. Signature scent yeah. in Toronto. Yeah. Was there anything that was good? Um, you don't wear cologne, do you? I do. Really? Yeah, sometimes. Not all the time. I think if you wear it all the time, you're a businessman pervert. I don't care about yeah. that shit. It smells I odd got deodorant, to me. Man. But There's a website called Fragnatica. Like that called what? Fragnatica. Okay. That's a game where you're underwater. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, there's uh, that website... Uh, yeah, you can you can just look up different scents by their uh their, yeah. their, their notes. Their notes. Yeah. And these ladies are obsessed with it. What notes do you tend to woody, trend towards? Woody sandalwood. Woody sandalwood. Sandalwood citrus. You You're an everyman jack man. You said smelling things gives you a woody. Yeah. That's what I heard too. Feet. <laughs> smelling feet gives you a woody? That's nasty. Smelling them? No. Why Speaking of that bar on? we went to like two nights ago, smelled like a locker room. What bar Speaking you of to? feet. I don't Which remember one? what it was called, but it was not the one Where? that the venue, the one on Sunday. What we walked in there. Sunday? 
The show. The show. After this, the show. Oh, okay. We walked in there. Well, yeah, we have smelled, been to like, so many different room. bars. Yeah. That guy, the bouncer at that bar told us... Uh, oh, yeah. He was a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I think he must have been a compulsive liar because it, it was crazy. Like First, he said... So, he said he went to Juilliard, which mm-hmm. is like, that's believable. That's whatever. Yeah. And the person's like, oh, you went to Juilliard? Did you, did you know Did you know Glenn Howerton? And instantly, they go, yeah, he's my roommate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With no emotion in his face or voice. Not even like... Oh, uh, funny you should say. Yeah, actually. just yeah, How old was he? Did he seem like he Glenn was... Glenn Howerton's uh, age? Uh, Glenn Howerton's like 45. Than, a little younger than that, younger I than would yeah. say. Yeah. yeah. Then no way he was... No, I, d- I mean, I, d- I did not believe him at all. Yeah. And then... And then... Uh, and then um, but that's the thing. Someone was like, uh, oh... Maybe it was Kay. It was like, oh, uh, what is that song, A Thousand Miles, really about Glenn Howerton? And then the guy's like, no, but I know who it is really about. Whoa. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> Which, again, is that is exactly what you That's said. That's a good liar. liar. Yeah. Wait, a Thousand Miles is about Glenn Howerton? Yeah. I've never heard that. Well, no, it's not. It's but this theory. guy knows who it was. What's the? Why is it? Because they because they went were at the same school at the same time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> fucking Everybody's stupid. Everyone's, I hate yeah. everybody so much. Everybody's like, fucking yeah. dumb. Um. But that was, uh, what was I even going to say? Oh, but the Roadhouse has made it so that every bouncer thinks they need to be interesting. Mm. Because you think, that movie, you think that, uh, that movie Roadhouse, the original, the one with Swayze. Uh, I will say I do like interesting bouncers. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Really there's, a that's type, there's a good Roadhouse. type of interesting bouncer and there's a bad type yeah. of interesting bouncer. The guy, good type is the guy from L.A. with the yeah. scar over well, his eye and the yeah. full white. Well, the villain scar, perfect, uh, he, you think perfect he's the bouncer. Owner. That mm. is the ba- that's the best possible. Yeah. Worst type of interesting bouncer is this guy. Oh, yeah. Who says, mm. I was actually roommates with Glenn Hart. Just lies. Yeah. 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 Even, not even an interesting the guy in the middle. <laughs> I mean, really. The guy in the middle is the guy that I saw the one time who dresses like a Mad Max character uh-huh. at this bar, Welcome to the Johnson's in LES Uh and he fully has a big red mohawk and a big red flashlight and a leather jacket that's also got red on it that's awesome he looks like a mad he's the direct middle because like I like when they go I said I like your jacket and he went you're goddamn right you do damn yeah yeah, okay I like the commando look on a bouncer oh yeah yeah. the guy at Carmelo's oh yeah yeah yeah. commando but the uh, but Roadhouse when you think about that movie it's just like like everyone's like oh shit there's Dalton the most famous bouncer in the world. <laughs> oh shit, here he comes. Yeah, I heard that he broke a man's uh, th- thumbs just using his hands. Whoa. And it's like, what? how does everyone know about this fucking bouncer? <laughs> He's the most famous bouncer in the country. I think that's good. I, I, that's a good, I listen, mean, it's good we, for I mean, the we're story. talking about bouncers that are famous yeah. to us. Yeah, yeah. that's true. And, and there's like, a lot of people, I bet, if you brought these bouncers up to yeah, them, they'd be like, oh, you're, yeah, I know you're, that guy. You're not going into a bar and, like, like the bartender's like, hey, keep an eye out for that guy. The He's bouncer. the most famous <laughs> bouncer in the world. <laughs> Which, that movie is also so fucking sick. I, I want to rewatch it because it's like, first, the first half of that movie is him being like, like, yep, I'm the famous bouncer. I'm so dangerous. Then the second half of the movie, g- shootout. Full shootout. He's it's like... Cool. <laughs> he's, I never saw Patrick it. Patrick Swayze it. is in a gun battle with somebody who wants to shut the bar down. <laughs> it's so fucking That's how they stupid. should do it, man. It's so yeah. sick. That's how I did, there's a remake now. Of. There's a remake Jake with Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal, and I bet that it doesn't hit all of those no- same notes. I heard that it's all the... They use CGI to do all the punches. Really? Well, how's that, that they even? do... They do, like, they have the actor go like this, and then they use CGI to extend their arm. To like, <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Together. Maybe uh, I do yeah, need Mr. to see Fantastic. that. Do a double, double feature. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Okay, guys. Next live show is in Carboro on, the, on April 26th. North Carolina. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. And then the day after that is Cook Atlanta out. on the 27th. Cook We're going to fucking get some Cook cookout, out in bro. Smith I can't wait. Uh-huh. Yes, bro. I'm excited. <gasps> and you guys should be excited, too. Go buy tickets at swagpoop.com slash shows. And then mm-hmm. Philly. Uh, that's the pre-sale, way later. pre-sale is sold out. That's uh, that's in a while. But there's tickets at the door. There maybe. will be tickets at the door. They're confirmed. More than, more than maybe there are tickets at the door by and Cameron. We'll, don't you worry. We'll remind you about. And this that is Cameron's crap. confirmation. And did we say Atlanta? Yeah, I said that. Oh, okay. Well, Atlanta as well. Yeah, Atlanta. Buy some tickets for that. That's a sketch show. That'll be uh-huh. a blast. Come see some new videos and some fun. We have new sketches. Home Planet videos. We have new World's Biggest Army videos. We have new. Um, sketches and we have new we're all going to get a new shirt we we'll shirts. bring shirts They're not we'll bring well, we're going to sell shirts but we're also we're going to get we're just going to wear shirts for we're sure we're going to get um maybe 
like uh like family vacation style t shirts that we all wear together. That's definitely possible. We, maybe world's That's biggest army family vacation. So imagine the same logo, right? Uh huh. That we have for the shirts, but instead of holding a gun, he's holding a bouquet maybe of flowers. A bu- no, and a cocktail. plate of mac and cheese. A cocktail. A cocktail, a cocktail and a plate of mac and, and cheese. Lobster mac and cheese. Lobster mac and cheese. And then the tank has a uh, a umbrella coming out oh, and, and a it's Hawaiian also a umbrella coming confetti. out of it. Yeah, the confetti's confetti. a bunch of umbrellas, and it's printed on teal shirts. Uh huh. Tie dye, tie dye shirts. Yes. Okay, I'd like to actually. This, wear this is shirt. actually we we need to put in. We need to shirt. buy six of these shirts. <laughs> I really need to. We all need to be wearing. Them. That is badass. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's a good idea. We can all tie them tie dye them here at the office. I have a tie dye kit at home. All right, peace. Music choice was like a channel that you would just like. They would leave it on at like the doctor's office, and it would just it was like. It was like basically like Pandora radio where it's oh, just like oh, all this yeah. shit. Comes it, was the, up. it was the one that just played random music videos yeah. and they were by. It was by never music videos. It was just like. Oh, yeah, you're right. It just yeah. had like. And it was like tracks. decade and genre. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so like 90s. I was, listening to, I was listening to the rap station mm-hmm. on that one. And uh, my I think it was a Fat Joe song. I'm pretty sure it was Twins. Okay. I'm pretty sure Twins was Deep playing. Cover. Deep cover, yeah. And my mom came inside and heard me listening to the. It was at the part where it was like dead in the middle of uh-huh. little, literally little. Did we know we were? Well, it's more of a big pun song, do, do, do. I would say. Um, yeah, true. Uh, my mom comes in, hears me listening to that, and she's like, "What the? Heck? What are you doing?" Started it's funny because she has no idea what he said. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's going. Like, <laughs> 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 And I remember she came in and she's like, if you want to listen to rap, you can listen to this and went to the classic hip hop station. And the song that came up was You Can't Touch This. Nice. <laughs> like you're allowed to listen to this. Dude. is the only hip hop you're allowed to listen about to. That? So it's so funny that the moms, they can some they some they can't understand a single word. No, it's or, a different or differentiate language until they say what they say one thing. That yeah. yeah. They will never forget. For I remember. 10 years. I remember. They say one thing. <laughs> remember when you were listening to that song where he said "getting head." I remember yeah. my mom. <laughs> yeah. Do you, you remember the the uh, Jim Jones? You song? hear? Oh, turn it off. <laughs> Do you remember? Uh, we stay fly, no oh, lie. You, you know, know this. Bowling. Bowling. So my mom, I, I was listening to that in the car one time, and my mom, uh, I was like singing along to it. It was my favorite song, and then he goes "ballin." My mom turns off the radio. She says, "You do know what ballin' means, don't you?" I was like, no. She was like, it's a where you put your balls in a woman. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I don't think, I don't think he's saying we stay fly, no lie. You know this. Put my balls it's inside we fly the high. woman.